So, um, okay. So I'm going to give you some instructions on how to uh, use the effect that ART does to help to desensitize from unwanted thoughts. So uh, the way ART works is that we create a stress response by thinking about something that's difficult. And certainly unwanted and negative thoughts are in that category of difficult for sure. So what we need to do is create this stress response initially. And then after about 10 minutes, those that stress response can be modified and changed. And we can actually create a new feeling to have about that stressor so that it doesn't have that sting anymore. So this is how you would do that with thoughts. What you would do is you would uh, start writing down a list of your thoughts. Just, okay, what are the difficult thoughts that show up? And so you make your list and that probably will make you feel uncomfortable. And that's fine. That's what you want. What you can do is you do uh, eye movements. You move your eyes back and forth in a smooth manner uh, as, as though you're following maybe the line at the top of your computer or, you know, you're yeah, at the t kitchen table maybe and you're looking at the edge of the table and you're moving your eyes back and forth along the edge and you do that for about a minute uh, after about a minute or maybe two minutes you pause and you check in with your body and you notice is there still tension or tightness in your body and if there is then you go ahead and you do another set of eye movements for about a minute and you might want to just run a timer because you can get lost in your thoughts and you don't want to do that. So you want to do the eye movements to help move the physical sensation that's in your body. And uh, then you, after that minute, you check in, how am I feeling? Usually, if you need to do it one more time, you go ahead and do it. And by that third time, that physical agitation should feel calmer. So then you grab that list and you look at it again. And your heart goes thunk a thunk a thunk and you put it down and you do those two or three sets of eye movements to help settle your body back down again. Then you pick up the list again and you look it over. And again, your body might respond, but maybe it responds a little bit less that time. So you want to keep doing this back and forth of kind of stressing yourself out by looking at this list and then using the eye movements to help bring your body back down. After you've done this for about, um, I don't know, back and forth for about 15 minutes or so, that list should start, maybe even less, that list should start to feel less daunting. You should be able to look at it and it is really looking like it's just, uh, you know, words on a piece of paper or a grocery list or something like that. And then once you've really attained that state where you can look at that paper and those thoughts don't bite at you anymore, then you can go and you can imagine in your head how you're going to handle those thoughts the next time they show up. So you're going to do eye movements and while you're doing your eye movements you're thinking about the situation where those thoughts show up and you're looking to see are you, are you getting a reaction? Are you getting a little bit of a cringy kind of a reaction or a bigger reaction? Um, and if you are then fine. You give yourself a break. You use the eye movements to help your body settle back down. Sometimes it can help to think about uh, a nice place that you've been, a safe place, a soft, warm place, anything that helps your body settle down and relax. And then what you do uh, once you then are relaxed again is that you go ahead and again think about imagining that situation where those thoughts show up. And um, if there's less of a reaction, then you can start practicing how you're going to respond to those thoughts. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, it's useful to think of those thoughts as coming from some kind of an outside force that's just trying to undermine you, trying to make you feel bad, kind of like what the people used to do when you were little, maybe, who would, you know, belittle you or make fun of you because you were upset or you were having a hard time. So. You might think of it as a gremlin or a former parent, or maybe it's a liar and it's just telling you lies about yourself. And so, um, or that it's a yippy little dog. 
uh, and then what you do is you imagine with eye movements that you're taking that yippy little dog and putting it in a crate, give it a chew toy and put it out in the garage. And then you uh, do the eye movements and again you imagine the yippy dog showing up, take the yippy dog, put it out into the other room and then come back and then continue imagining what's it like uh, being able to discard those thoughts. And uh, when you practice this regularly, it'll make it easier for you to recognize, oh, there's a thought that I don't really need. And it won't be distressing. You'll only recognize it as an unhelpful thought. And then you'll recognize that you can just discard it. And maybe you discard it like that, put the little dog in the garage, or maybe you imagine that it's junk mail, like, I know what this is. This is junk mail. I don't need this. There's no emotional attachment to junk mail. You just discard it. So you're not engaging in the thoughts. You're not, you know, trying to justify or explain. You're just noticing, oh, here's a piece of junk mail. Here's a thought that I don't need anymore. So uh, do all of the parts and it should help. So thanks very much.